Hi guys, in this series of videos we're going to be looking at how to play 10 songs uh, with three new chords. We've got a G major, a C major and a D major. And this is how we're going to play some really cool songs um, with just these three chords. The D we've covered before in the previous set of videos. Um, how to play three songs with E, A and D. So if you want to know how to play that D chord, check out the previous set of videos and we'll get you playing onto the record with those. But in this one, we're going to be focused on a lot of songs which are in the key of G. Which means that these songs are going to start on G and also um, the other chords that we use with them, C and D, sort of fit in the family of, of G. When we start on a G chord, a C and a D sound really good when we play after it. So we're going to be covering how to play these, how to change between them, and a couple of different options you've got with these chords. Um, so this is the normal, standard way you will play a G major chord on any guitar. We have your middle finger on the thickest E string at the third fret which should be where you have a dot on the top of your guitar. Some don't, this one doesn't for example, but most standardized guitars do. That's where your middle finger goes. Your first finger goes um, on the second fret of the A string. And then your third finger is all the way down on the thinnest E string at third fret again, so on that dotted fret. And if all those three are right on the tips of their fingers, um, some people have a habit of uh, flattening off their third finger when they go for um, this G chord, but I need you to make sure that they're on the tips of their fingers so that they all ring out great. And it should sound like that. So as I say, that's the standard way to play a G. Um, there's another option that we can do with this G chord that will make a lot of your changes and a lot of these songs one a lot easier, but also actually sound more like the record as well. Uh, and that's by playing it with your little finger on as well, with your fourth finger. So from your standard G, we move your third finger up a string, but at the same fret. And then we have your little finger, your pinky, on the thinnest E string where your third finger was. So we've moved your third finger up and replaced it with your little finger. And that sounds like this. Now to my ear, that actually sounds like a more pleasant and nicer sounding G. Compare it to the old way. I prefer the sound of this one. It's a tiny bit more work because you are using your little finger for the first time. However, this is going to make changing to the D major chord that we've already covered, as I say in a previous video. So if you're not, I'm not going to go into this D too much. Um, but we make this little triangle shape with your first finger at second fret on the third string. So that's the G and uh, middle finger on the second fret on the top E string and then your third finger creates a little triangle shape and, and that's your D major chord, as I say this gets used a lot with a G and if we use this Noel Gallagher method, which is uh, what I nickname it with your two little fingers here, this way of playing G, I'm going to nickname the Noel Gallagher of Oasis fame uh, G, we keep the third finger down and we have an anchor finger, which was really important in the first batch of videos that I made. Um, it really helps a change if you can keep one finger down all the time. In this case, it's your third finger, which isn't the strongest of fingers when, you, when you're first starting off. Kind of your first finger is the stronger one. But it should help. Keep that third finger down and you can change to a D chord. In my opinion, much easier. And in my experience, much easier for a, for a lot of be absolute beginners um, than going for the standard G and then having to lift all fingers off and trying to find your D chord from there. This gives you a point of contact and it makes that change a lot, lot easier. Um, your third chord that you're going to need for this series of uh, songs is a C chord, which the standard way of playing it is like this. Here we have your first finger on the second string, so that's the B string at first fret. That note sounds like that. We have your middle finger on the D string at second fret. And then your third finger, third fret, so the dotted fret one more time, uh, on the A string. 
And this one we also, it's good, at, especially at this stage, if you, you know, this is the first chord you've ever learnt, don't worry about this too much, but if you, you've played a few songs now with a few chords, strum that C chord from the, the uh, fifth string. Don't play the thickest E string, it can sound a little... C chord sounding like that, that's why. And if you notice on the diagram, there's a little cross on that string. Uh, remember these diagrams are kind of written upside down. But, um, so the, the cross will be on the bottom here, but this is actually your bottom string because it's the lowest one. And we don't want to play this string on the C chord, otherwise it sounds like this, rather than sounding like this. Or on the D chord, where we want to strum from the, uh, from the D string rather than hitting the thickest string. That will make it sound a lot better, especially if you're on the tips of your fingers as well. If your fingers are quite flat like this, it might sound a little like that. Okay, so right on the tips of your fingers, kind of like a kind of like a claw hand, the way I like to describe it for want of a better term. That's your D chord, and then we had the C chord, like this. Okay. This, um, <coughs> okay, we've got a couple of options with uh, how to play this C chord as well as the standard way of doing it. This is going to be a very similar way to ha the option we had on the G. So the Noel Gallagher method, as I like to describe it. Um, when we play this C, that's a big change from both the G and the D, which um, the G to a D was quite a big change as well when you're first getting used to it. Um, but what I would like to introduce to you is a way to play a C, which is a C add nine, uh, which again sounds really great for a, a lot of these songs. This is actually the C that will be used in this song. This isn't a easy cheating beginner's C. This is a C that is used in songs because it sounds great. Um, after you've done a few songs at this stage, I would like you to be able to change between a full normal G to a full normal C and the D. But to be able to do this in songs and get the sound of the record, this method is actually really used uh, an awful lot, especially with these three chords in this sequence. So we have a G chord with the Noel Gallagher method. Play this for, with me now. So three, two, one. This is your Noel Gallagher G. Um, then to play your C chord, we just move your first finger and your middle finger down one string. And don't play the thickest E string. And it sounds like this. This is your Noel Gallagher C chord. And it's not just used for Oasis songs, it's going to be used in, in lots of songs. For example, we're going to be able to play uh, Free Falling with this um, chord change. And then to a D. And that third finger is going to stay down the whole time, which as I say is going to make this a whole lot easier for you. But I just want you to know exactly what chords we're playing here. Um, also for another song that we're going to be going for, Sweet Home Alabama. This is the, the proper way to do those chords, even to do the riff. That's, that's how the chords are made. It's not actually a full C. So really, really useful stuff. And um, so, yes, just as a little bit more explanation as to, to why this is a, a C chord, because your fingers seem in totally different places, right, to where they were before. These two notes are actually the same, where your first and second finger are on a Noel Gallagher C chord as to where they are on a normal C chord, but with your second and third fingers on them. They're the same two notes regardless. But this just keeps it in a really similar state to the G and the C. And then when we move to a D, we have a third finger anchor. So as I say, I'd really like you to uh, use this method for the most of these uh, songs, unless I tell you otherwise, because it really gets the, the sound of the record. But after these videos, after you sort of progress on, um, please be able to change between a normal G and a normal C and a normal D, because that's um, also fundamental to doing songs that don't begin on a G, that aren't in the key of G.
Um, and that's going to be everything that you'll need for this set of videos. We'll cover strumming patterns and everything like that. But fire away and, and choose the song that you want and I'll see you there.